so today we will uh, discuss about one activity um, that is uh, to measure the resistance voltage uh, current dc and check the continuity of a given circuit using multimeter that is the second activity of your syllabus of cbse uh, in cbse you know that this year you have to uh, perform three activities from each section that is section a three activities section b three activity so in total you have to perform six activities or you have to write uh, six activities out of that one activity you have to perform during your exam so this is the second activity today we will uh, discuss and we will show how to uh, perform or how to make uh, this activity uh, so uh, let us see that how you, you will do this activity right one by one we'll discuss so students you can see that here this is the aim of the activity that to measure the resistance voltage ac or dc current ac was there if your apparatus has ac so you can measure ac our multimeter has only dc so we'll measure only dc and check the continuity of a given circuit using multimeter now let us proceed for the activity so here is the table for you uh, the resistance from the color code you can find out what is the value of that resistance plus minus the error percentage tolerance you can say so here from multimeter also will measure and will verify that if it is close to that value or not uh, so here different registers are there uh, three register will measure you can see here is our breadboard and these are the resistances and this is our multimeter so first let us see how you will connect the uh, or uh, where you will keep the knob for the uh, measurement first the black line will be in the common and the red will be here b ohm milliampere here red now yeah, these, these are the two uh, here is the red one and here is the black one you will connect it with the resistances and will measure here for that you can see that different uh, voltage uh, here the symbol ohm is to measure the resistance here ac voltage then current uh, these are the range that you can measure the voltage or the resistance or the current so for that we are interested to measure the current uh, resistance now so we'll rotate this knob you can see we'll rotate the knob and we'll keep it uh, in 200 because the first regist register that we have uh, from our color code we can predict that it will be approximate approximately 100 ohm so we have kept more than 100 ohm that is 200 ohm so now we'll measure the 100 ohm register and we'll see that if it is coming to 100 ohm not just you will try to uh, connect with the both end of the register with the both the terminal of this uh, red and black wire and you will see that here approximately 100 ohm fluctuating but 100 ohm it's uh, showing the multimeter so this is the activity that you have to perform in your lab maybe or it at your home also you can perform you will write down the activity outcomes like the tabular manner the aim of the activity the description also you will write that how you have done the experiment or you can attach a photo you can take a print out and uh, attach with your notebook uh, you have to write six activities as i have told so this one is 100 ohm now uh, let's proceed to the next register so next register is uh, more than 100 so you will see that it won't come so we have to rotate this knob we have to take it to 2k 2k means 2000 ohm range now you see it's showing 0.9 that means it's approximately 1k right 1 kilo ohm because it's in kilo ohm range so it's approximately 1 kilo ohm that means approximately 1000 ohm you can see from our uh, table also that from the color code we have found out it's approximately 1000 ohm now also we verified that it's also approximately 1000 ohm from the multimeter now next go uh, we'll check the 
last register that is the third one for us and you see again it's not coming within the range so we have to increase the knob and you can see it's 9.6 that means uh, i have changed it to 20k 20k range so it's 9.6 kilo ohm that means approximately 10000 and here you can see from our table that from the color code we are also getting approximately means it's uh, approximately 10000 uh, ohm or 10 kilo ohm you can say and we are getting approximately 9.6 or 9.7 approximately so some errors are there of course that it should be and some fluctuation will be there so this is the activity the first uh, part of this activity that to measure the resistance using the multimeter now let us proceed to the next part of this activity now you can see this is a battery eliminator where we can rotate this knob and we can get up output voltage dc voltage from 2 volt to 12 volt right now we'll connect our multimeter and we'll try to measure that uh, the voltage the dc voltage that uh, we are getting as an output from the battery eliminator now let's connect to the circuit so red one we are connecting with the red wire and black one we are connecting with the black one right and again we are getting no reading here why because we have to rotate the knob and to keep it in the voltage mode so the voltage mode is here here is the voltage mode uh, dc this is the dc and this is ac part so now let us rotate uh, and keep it in 20 volt range so again you can see here 2.1 you are getting approximately we have kept the knob in 2 volt also range uh, here you can see the white dot is showing at 2 volt that means we are getting approximately same output voltage and the reading this is how you will measure uh, the voltage from the battery eliminator now you will note down your observation in a tabular form you can do that right like this you can measure the uh, measure the voltage and uh, you can note it in a tabular form now we will rotate the knob and we will measure again uh, check that whether we are getting the approximate result or not now the knob is at 4 volt as you can see and we will check with our multimeter yes 3.96 we are getting close to 4 volt we are getting so this is how you will take two three to four reading for the measurement of ac voltage now we will proceed to the ac voltage this is a power supply and it supplies ac voltage uh, 6 volt and middle one black one is the ground and the right side is the 8 volt so how will you connect you have to connect with one red and one black that means ground and this is uh, your red one so that you will get the uh, uh, your readings now where will i will keep keep the voltage i'll keep the voltage in ac mode and let us connect our multimeter as you can see the red one of uh, red one we have connected with the red and black one that we have connected with the ground so you can see now in our and we have rotated the knob kept it in the b voltage in ac mode the this wave type symbol means it's a ac voltage it's measuring the ac voltage and it's approximately 6.4 volt and it's also output is also first on left side as i have shown it's 6 volt now let us proceed and check another one that the right side 8 volt part same thing black one will keep in the middle and red so same uh, black you will connect in the middle and the red one in the right now you see red right side was 8 volt so you can see in the multimeter also it's 8.6 uh, so it's giving you a root mean rms uh, voltage uh, so uh, that also we verified you can also note down in a tabular form so we are getting approximately here like in the second part of the table you can see 6 volt and 9.0 volt so in this way you can measure the ac voltage keeping the knob of the multimeter in here near the ac voltage now we'll proceed to the next part of this 
activity that is to check the continuity of a circuit so before we go to check the continuity of circuit another uh, thing we will measure that is the current dc current will measure right so here just you have to change the knob here also you can me measure the current but uh, i have changed this uh, red one i have changed this uh, red one to here so i have changed this one to uh, 10 ampere from the right side to left side because it may have high current so we have uh, changed to 10 ampere now i have kept this knob again to 10 ampere so that it can measure the high current also now you see the voltage is 2 volt the knob is 2 volt and the current it's giving the reading 3 ampere right now if we change if we rotate the voltage knob then again suppose the voltage is 4 now you see the current increase we know that the voltage increases the current in the circuit should increase so high current is flowing in this circuit now approximately 5 ampere current is flowing in the circuit here you can see so will not go beyond that it may damage the circuit uh, or you can measure it through a resistor also right so this this is the way to measure the current uh, using the multimeter now we will proceed to the to check the continuity of a circuit so now we'll check the continuity of the circuit so here is the battery eliminator and we have fixed the knob in 4 volt and here is the red and uh, black we have connected here now if you know the breadboard connection so these are the lines where they are internally connected and they are uh, horizontal they are vertically like this they are interconnected these lines are interconnected and these lines are interconnected now you see there is a resistor which we have connected from this line to this line and as it is all the uh, all the uh, this line is interconnected and this is your led bulb and here from here too we have kept here but uh, this wire if you look closely that we have not kept in the same line this one is not in the same line of your LED so here the circuit is breaking right we'll check that with, uh, with the help of a multimeter now you see also if we we'll switch on the LED is not glowing the LED is not glowing that means the circuit is uh, not uh, open circuit or it's uh, it's already broken now we'll check with the multimeter how will you check with the multimeter now you see the multimeter again I have changed the knob to here uh, voltage ohm milliampere the right right side the red one mid between common now the knob I have kept in the buzzer so that if the circuit is conti uh, continuous then it the buzzer will be there sound will be there and if it is not con continuous no buzzing buzzer, uh, buzzer will not there will, won't be any sound now let us check the continuity of register and the uh, your supply supply one now you see you are getting a uh, getting a sound from the budget so that the circuit is con continuous or there is no breaking inside this uh, breadboard also right so this is how we check the circuit if any uh, damage is there in mobile phones in any uh, televisions or any uh, small small where the connections are there if the circuit is broken in between or not we check in this way with the help of multimeter that uh, where the circuit exactly has disconnected the repairing person checks right now we'll check uh, the register and the led in between if the any breaking or the circuit is broken or the circuit is continuous now also we are getting a bu buzzing sound so sound so that here also the circuit is continuous between LED and the uh, register. Now let us check the register and the another supplying uh, your o conductor where now you see there is no buzzing sound in the there is no sound in the multimeter and the circuit is getting completed the LED is glowing up because we have connected uh, the multimeter so there is no buzzing there is no sound and we can say that the circuit is discontinuous here so that uh, if I am switching it on also it's not glowing the LED is not glowing now again I have told you zooming it up you can see that these two lines 
they are these lines are internally connected but both these two lines they are not internally connected right so one leg is here of led in another line this conductor is there so now what we'll do we'll bring this led leg here uh, in the same line that is of uh, that is put it in means uh, the conductor is right the connecting wire is so let's see what happens if they are if they are in the same line then we'll see that circuit is continuous or not first we'll check with the multimeter whether we're getting a sound or not then we'll check it with uh, we'll switch it on the circuit will switch it and we'll check now we are getting a sound that means circuit is now connect continuous other part we have already checked now if we'll remove this and switch it on this we can see that the led is also glowing so here we can confirm that the circuit is continuous and with the help of multimeter we uh, could verify that how the circuit uh, if the circuit is connected or if the circuit is continuous or not this is how the repairing person checks using a multimeter uh, that if the circuit is continuous or not i hope you could understand each part if you have not understood you can comment so that or you can tell so that we can uh, explain to you and i think you go through this video carefully so that you will understand uh, all the parts thank you